So while I was sitting here using the restroom, I noticed this. An ant crawling about with no idea that he's being watched. I also happen to notice that it's time to clean my grout in the bathroom, but I digress. Back to the ant. Hey, what's up you guys? You know what? I really hate ants in my homes and I know that you do too. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of ants inside your house and also how to keep them out. But then I'm also going to show you how you can make your own stuff if you're kind of a DIY person or if you just don't want to go to the store right now. Make sure to stick to the end of this video because I'm going to show you one other thing that I picked up that will get rid of another very pesky house invader and it looks a little bit like this. So watch for that later on so I can show you what this is all about. But now before I jump in, I want to remind you to subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe and hit the thumbs up if you hate ants as much as I do. And I really, really do hate ants. And I'm not going to get into the details of why, but I will just say that I know exactly what an ant sounds like when it is walking inside your ear canal. So about two weeks ago, I was in my bathroom, the one just off of my bedroom, and I was, you know, doing my business while contemplating my life's decisions when I found this little guy. No worries, right? Just, you know, one little rogue ant wandering around, so I took care of him and that was that. But the next day, I found another ant, probably looking for his friend from the other day. And then later on that day, I found another ant, and another ant, and that is when I realized I have an ant problem. But first things first. Much better. Now back to the ants. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do to get rid of them because you don't want to just kill them as you see them. Ant colonies have thousands of ants in them and you will never get rid of them if you just, you know, kill them one at a time. Now the real way to get rid of the ant colony is to get the ants that you can see, you know, the ones that are crawling on your counters or your floors or wherever, and use them to carry your ant poison back to the colony where it will be consumed by not only the worker ants but also the queen ant as well. So to, in order to do that, we are going to use this. So this is Raid Max Ant Bait, and it's effective enough to get rid of all the ants in the colony. And as the ants scavenge for the bait, they take this bait back to the colony where they feed it to the larvae and the other workers and the queen ants. So this bait doesn't kill ants on contact. And in order for you to know what it looks like, I've cut the top off of this right here so that you can see what the ant bait looks like on the inside. I'll do a close up of it. And it's funny because for some reason I thought that there were little ant pellets in here, but it's not, it's this little paste. So you don't have to worry about spilling it if you turn it sideways or anything like that. And what you wanna do is you wanna take these, this comes in a pack of eight, and you wanna take all eight of these and place them strategically around where your ants are. And you wanna put them where the ants will cross its path. So we're talking in the corners, up against baseboards, underneath counters, and don't forget any place that is near a water source. The manufacturer recommends that you trade these out about once every three months. Within a few days of placing the ant bait, um, you should start to see less and less ants. Once you have the ants under control inside your house, the next step is to keep them out of the house and you do that with a barrier protection. And with that, I'm gonna talk about this ortho home defense. So this is ortho home defense bug killer and it is for inside and outside. And the nice thing is this isn't just for ants. This also works with other insects like uh, cockroaches and spiders. So it's great for that too. Now, of course, when you use a product like this, you gotta read the instructions and follow the manufacturer's label as far as application and safety and first aid and all that. This will help to keep bugs outside your house and uh, you can also help to treat any insects that you have inside the house as well. The nice thing about this particular one is it's got a continuous spray nozzle. Now, I have purchased before the one where you have to hand spray the insect repellent and I will tell you what especially if you you know you're doing the perimeter of your home it really makes your hand tired your muscles get tight and sore and it's not fun so this has a wand and it's got a battery so all you have to do is just push a button and it will spray for you and that will give your hand and your arm a break so I really like that feature about this You want to hold this about 12 inches away from the surface that you're spraying and then you want to spray about a four inch 
a layer of barrier. You don't want to oversaturate it so it's sopping wet, but you want to leave a nice film. You want to do this around windows, around door openings, and then also around the perimeter of your entire home if you can. It recommends that you wait until the surface dries before you let kids and pets um, contact the surface and they don't want you to use it around food products. So just make sure to follow the manufacturing label and it really, really works well. Now, let's say you don't want to use that kind of a product and you just want to use what you have at home you don't want to use strong chemicals and I'm going to show you how to do that right now so what you're going to want to use is borax and then sugar so borax will kill ants and you want to use the sugar because that is what attracts the ants to it you don't want to overpower the sugar with too much borax so I recommend using three tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of borax You then add just enough water to make it into a thick paste, kind of like the consistency of syrup. Then put that paste into a small plastic jar, Tupperware container, anything that you have around the house, and then poke holes into it so that the ants can access it. You want the ants to be able to access this ant bait and not your pets and your kids. Again, you wanna place these ant baits out of reach and out of sight of your kids so they don't get it. As for the perimeter of the home, get yourself a water bottle, put about one cup of vinegar, one cup of water in it, and then a couple of drops of Dawn into it and mix that up. And then use that to spray around the perimeter of your home and that will help to keep ants, bugs, spiders, and any other insects out of your house as well. Now, as promised, I want to talk about this. This does not have anything to do with ants, but what it does have to do with is fruit flies, which I absolutely hate. And um, they are really tough to get rid of. And so this is a fruit fly trap. And I like that it kind of looks like an apple. And so I put it next to my fruit, which if I ever have fruit flies, that's where I tend to see the most of them. This is the container that it comes in, and it comes with a pack of two. Inside this container, is this tarot fruit fly lure. And what you do is you remove the cap and you put half of this bottle into the top of this fly trap. And, and then of course you'd use the other half for the other one. This will lure the fruit flies into it and then they can't get out. They recommend that you trade this out every 45 days, but this will do a wonder for getting rid of your fruit flies. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was informative to help you to be able to get rid of your ants and to keep them out, as well as your spiders and cockroaches and anything else that's creepy and crawling that you don't want inside your house. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to clean freaking germaphobe. And hey, if you know somebody that also has ants that might benefit from this kind of a video, make sure to share this video with them too. We have a ton of cleaning tips and hacks that I really think that you'll enjoy. Make sure to click on that and we will see you over there.